Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you get our updates right away. Um, as well, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so just to give you a little background history, I got a 2003 Nissan Altima as a gift. Um, this was given to me in 2018 by my cousin and uh, it lasted me for a good time. It, last, it was pretty good for, to me for about a year. Um, didn't really have any too many problems but the first problem I had was um, there was one day I was driving home from work and suddenly I just see like smoke behind me so I'm like oh the road's really dusty because of construction so like you know whatever continue driving I'm like this dust is really following me like this doesn't make sense so someone ended up popping up next to me and they were just like how um, your car is smoking so I'm like oh man my car is smoking so I pulled over and to find out that the um, the I forgot what it's called the pump whatever that um, pumps the coolant into the um, engine the it had broken off and broken off a piece of the radiator so I had to get that fixed that cost me $500 I'm like okay whatever um then I'm fine driving driving it's working good then a couple months later I open my hood and I see that the coolant is leaking again so I'm like okay this is not good so I take it to a different mechanic and they said that um, basically the person who had done it had used a used part so they would have to buy a brand new part um, brand new pump and then they said something about how there was oil leaking and something crystallized and they had to replace that one. So that was another $500. So that was already $1,000 that I put into that car. And remember, it's a 2003 Nissan Altima. Okay, just remember that for right now. So then I fix it, pay the $500. And uh, it's working fine for a couple of months now. And so fast forward a couple of months um, and my car starts to do this thing where every time I'm driving it starts to like misfire or something like starts to stutter so it'd be like pop 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 and at some points if I left the engine on for too long without actually moving the car would just shut off so I'm like let me just take it to the mechanic get this fixed and move on with my life so I take it to the mechanic and the mechanic says he'll get back to me another day so he gets back to me the next day and tells me that all like a whole list of things um, was wrong with the vehicle said that's gonna cost me two thousand dollars to fix it fix it and possibly that would make the car last me for another year or so um, so I thought about it I'm like hmm two thousand dollars $2,000 for a 2003 Nissan Altima. I've already invested a thousand dollars in repairs in the past to fix this um, vehicle. Now it's another $2,000. And when you look at the value of the car, like the car, it had like 200,000 kilometers on it. Um, and at most it'd probably be worth maybe $2,000 or anywhere between 500 to $2,000. So I made the decision that I'm going to purchase a new car because I wanted something more reliable. Um, I wanted something that would, uh, wouldn't break down as often so it wouldn't cost me from actually being, cause me to not be able to go into work as well as I don't like going to the mechanic at all. Like Usually whenever I take my car to the mechanic it, it takes more than one day so um, that's Two, day, two to three days that I'm out of a car and I have to find a way to get to work. Um, so I began my search to find my new car and this took weeks. So I'm driving this car that's on the verge of breaking down. It's embarrassing me as I'm going down the street because it's making a lot of noise. Um, but I drove the car and um, I was looking for a car that had under 100,000 uh, kilometers on it. Um, what, wasn't in any accidents and was within the price range of about eleven thousand dollars or eleven to twelve thousand dollars so i ended up getting finding my car which um, came with the winter tires it had a car starter um, it uh, wasn't in any accidents or not in any major accidents um, it still had the warranty on it with the dealership until 2021 
and um, it also was for listed for the price of eleven thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars so I ended up purchasing the vehicle um, lucky enough um, I'm blessed to where I have a family that was able to help me out so I didn't have to finance the car um, they ended up lending my um, I had about I had five to six thousand dollars saved in my bank account um, I put around four thousand dollars towards the car and um, my mom lent me another nine thousand dollars um, and uh, around a thousand dollars went towards like chain off stuff at service Ontario or if you're in the States it's equivalent to the DMV um, so I um, ended up paying after taxes it was about thirteen thousand five hundred and fifty dollars I believe somewhere around there um, so I paid that in order to get my car I got a loan of $9,000 from my mom and uh, so I told her that I would pay her back by around October but latest would be like within six months. So that started my journey of paying off $9,000 because I already put the $4,000 of my own savings towards the car. Um, it was about $4,500, sorry. $4,500 came from my savings, $9,000 came from my mom. So um, what I started doing was during that time at my workplace, they started offering overtime. So I would work my normal hours. So I get paid, um, I work 37.5 hours a week, um, which bi-weekly is uh, equivalent to 75 hours. I would do an additional 40 hours um, and an additional 40 hours in overtime bi-weekly, which would ensure that I would make around $2,000 each paycheck. So out of that $2,000, I would um, give $1,500 to my mom. So each month I was paying off around $3,000. So I did that for about two months and then they stopped offering overtime. So then what I would do is I would save majority of my paycheck, cut down all my expenses. I made sure that I wasn't living above my means. Um, I wasn't going out as much. Um, I ensured that um, that money was paid first before I did anything else, which sometimes will leave me with like $200 in my paycheck um, in my bank account to last me for the rest of the week. And that's in, not include like I didn't pay out any gas. I didn't do any of my expenses or anything like that. So um, I would give my mom say uh, I would save up and pay my mom $2,000 here, $2,000 there. Um, and um, over time it would slowly go down so it started off as nine thousand dollars within the first month so between from august to september i paid three thousand dollars which brought the balance down to six thousand um and then um from from september to october they stopped offering overtime so i only paid around two thousand dollars so that brought my balance down to four thousand so beginning of november i also sent another payment of one thousand one hundred which brought the balance down to two thousand nine hundred that i was owing then on november 28th i sent another um, payment of twenty five hundred and then the last payment of four hundred dollars was made on december 12th and the car was entirely paid off. So now I'm driving a completely paid off car, including the taxes. So the total amount that was paid over the four months. So I got the car around August 20th or 25th, if I remember correctly, and the car was paid off by December 12th. So um, I paid off a total of $13,550. Um, and it was all done through just working um, my full-time job. It started off with overtime, but eventually the overtime was no longer offered. So I just um, paid it off just using my regular paycheck and living below my means. So um, I really cut my expenses down low, just made sure that um, I, was, I wasn't really budgeting, but I just made sure that I paid off the debt first 
and then whatever left was left over that's what i had to live off of. hey guys so i was editing the video and realized that all the contest details got um deleted so i'm just gonna explain the contest to you um so because i was able to pay off my car i wanted to give one of our subscribers an opportunity to get a hundred dollars to either pay off debt or treat themselves because um, we all need to be treated in life so in order to enter the contest it is open to the u.s and canada so to enter one you have to be either subscribed to our um you have to be subscribed to two out of our three pages so one has to be youtube and the second one has to be either our instagram or facebook so our facebook and instagram is both naturally vincy um and then you also have to comment down below um what you do with that hundred dollars so for me i would buy myself something nice like a nice purse or something um you have to like the video um so give the video a nice thumbs up um, and then also share the video. We will be checking um, and this contest will end um, mid-January. Um, the date will be posted in the description box down below.